Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the PEI Department of Education Arduino Starter Kit. Today we are going to get our servo working. And I just want to take a chance here to go back and review some of the things we need to do when we start out. Anytime you pull a new tool out of the kit, make sure it works. There's all kinds of preset code inside of the Arduino platform that allow you to test it out. So we're going to do that today. The other thing I'll say is that often if you're using a kit inside of the classroom, somebody else is going to have used the code before you. So in order to make sure of what you're doing, I want you to go ahead and start up your Arduino uh, platform and just go ahead and take the blank code where it says void setup and it's empty, void setup and there's just that comment there, and go ahead and upload that up to your box. It'll also tell you whether or not you're connected, but it just gives you a blank slate to start out with. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect this servo to the breadboard and then we're going to connect the Arduino to the breadboard as well. So first of all, let's take a look at the servo. You'll notice there are three colors. These are pretty standard colors uh, for the servo. The red here, as we've seen in a lot of other cases, is power. So we're going to take a red wire and connect it to the place where the red comes out. So that's the middle one, red. In this case, brown happens to be the negative, uh, the negative lead here. So we're going to go ahead and take a black one, connect it to negative. And then the last one, the orangey one, is uh, the thing that allows us, it's the command one, it's the communications one. It's the one that allows us to tell the servo what to do. So we're going to plug that a yellow one in there. We're going to go ahead and plug the yellow one to a random spot on our board. The red is going to go to the positive bank. And then the black one, anywhere on the positive row is okay, is going to go to the negative one. Now we're going to go ahead and connect our servo to the Arduino. So again, as we've done all over again, every time we go to 5 volt, plug that in to the plus section on the board, take the ground, GND, on the board, connect it to the negative line, it doesn't matter where it is, and we're going to take this one and connect it to the yellow one. Again, each of these five holes are connected. It's just like connecting those two wires together. So those are fused together now. We're going to put this in number nine, because you're going to see in a bit that the code is going to tell us to send the instructions at a number nine. So we've got our servo all hooked up. So now we're going to go in, we're going to get the standard code from the Arduino IDE, and we're going to make sure that our servo works. So we go into Arduino, File, Examples, and all the way down here you'll see Servo, and the one we're looking for is Sweep. So let's open that code up. See again at the top you've got who created this code in the first place. Include Servo.h, that's the servo code that we need to make this work. Servo my servo, that's the name your servo. We'll talk about that in a minute. And here, the important thing I want you to my servo attach nine. So we're attaching this servo to nine on the Arduino. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and upload this. Take a look at the code, see if you can figure it out. We'll have an activity later where we go to update it. Upload the code. If we've done this right, that servo should start to move. Look at it go. Well done, everybody. Uh, have a great day.